Hello and welcome to this episode of Kinemax Applied Electricity video tutorial. In this session, we are going to test our understanding on three phase circuits through some solved examples. So let's quickly jump to our first example and take on the question. So here we have it. The first question reads, three identical capacitors are connected in star as option A and B in delta to a 250 volts, 50 hertz, three phase supply. If the line current is 6 ampere, determine in each case the capacitance of each of the capacitors. So let's fish out some clues in this question. So first of all, it is stated that the capacitors are identical. So it means that they have the same capacitance and the same capacitive impedance. Then in case 1, they were connected in star and then in case 2, they were connected in delta. Again, they are connected to a 250 volts. 50 hertz supply. We've also been told that the line current is 6 ampere. So let's take the instance of the star connection. What it means is that now for star connections, we know from our classrooms that the line current, which is IL, is equal to the phase current, which is IP. So given that the line current is 6 ampere, we can infer from this relation that the phase current is also 6 ampere. Again, we know from the classroom that our line voltage and the phase voltage are related by an equation that is VL is equal to VP times the square root of 3. So if we do the substitutions, we are going to have our VP or our phase voltage equal to the line voltage on root 3. So if we do the substitutions, we are going to get 250 over the square root of 3 and that gives us 144.34 volts. The phase voltage and the phase current we can easily relate them using Ohm's law. So using V is equal to IR, our phase voltage is also going to be equal to the phase current times the capacitive impedance. So if we get the substitutions from here to our capacitive impedance is then going to be the phase voltage divided by the phase current. So that gives us by substitution 1144.34 volts on 6. And this gives us 24.06 ohms. Now we know that to find the capacitive impedance, we use the relation Xc is equal to 1 on 2 pi f c. We know some of the parameters in this equation. Our unknown in this circumstance is c, which is the capacitance. So if you are to make the capacitance the subject of this equation, our c is going to be 1 on 2 pi f x subscript c, which is our capacitive impedance. So let's see from the question. f from the question was 50 hertz and xc as we've calculated above is 24.06 ohms so we are going to have 1 on 2 pi times 50 times 24.06 and this gives us 1.3229 times 10 to the power minus 4 farad which is the same as 132.3 microfarad Given that the capacitors as stated in the question were identical, it means that all the three capacitors will have the same value as 132.3 microfarad. So now let's go to the case of the delta connection. Now in delta connections, we know that the line current and the phase current are related by the equation IL is equal to IP times the square root of 3. So by change of subject and substitution, we are going to have our IP equal to IL on square root of 3. But from the question, our line current was given as 6 ampere. So here, it means that our equation is then going to be 6 on the square root of 3, which is equal to 3.46 ampere. However, in delta connection, the phase voltage and the line voltage are always the same. So it means that our phase voltage is equal to 250 volts. Applying Ohm's law, the phase voltage is then equal to the phase current times the capacitive impedance. So if we make the capacitive impedance the subject, we are going to have Xc equal to our phase voltage 250 on our phase current, which is 
3.46 and this gives us 72.25 ohms we are going to use the relation xc equals 1 on 2 pi fc and we shall make c the subject of this equation so our c is 1 on 2 pi f x c from the question our f was given as 50 hertz so we shall make that substitution and then now we are going to get our c to be equal to 1 on 2 pi times 50 times 72.25 is then equal to 44.05 microfarad let's take on our next example so let's finish out the clues in this question a 400 volts three-phase ac motor so this means our line voltage for this question is 400 volts the motor has an output power of 22.25 kilowatts so it has a power factor or it operates at a power factor of 0.8 lagging and with an efficiency of 90 percent if the motor is delta connected we are first of all supposed to determine the input power now to determine the input power we know that efficiency is the ratio of output to input so in this case our efficiency is equal to our output power on the input power so if you make the input power the subject we are going to have substituting the values of the various parameters 22.25 kilowatts divided by 90 percent which is 0 0.9 and this gives us 24.72 kilowatts now in finding the line current there is a formula we learned in class that can help us easily relate some parameters in this question we have our VO which is the 400 volts our IL is what you are supposed to find and we also have our power factor which is 0 0.8 again we also have our power by change of subject IL giving us so let's do the substitutions our P was 24.72 kilowatts so times 10 to the power 3 and then all over root 3 times our VO which as given by the question was 400 volts so times 400 and then our cos phi which is the power factor so times 0 0.8 so this is going to give us 44.6 ampere question c says we should find the phase current as well now again the motor was delta connected so in delta connection we know that the line current and the phase current are related by the equation il is equal to root 3 times ip so 44.6 over square root of 3 giving us 25.75 ampere let's take on our next question so question 3 reads three loads each of resistance 100 ohms are connected in star to a 440 volt three phase supply so let's fish out the clues from the question three loads all of them carry a resistance of 100 ohms and then they are connected in star to a 440 volts pre-phase supply and we have to determine these parameters so in finding the phase voltage in a star connection the phase voltage and the line voltage are related by VL so if you're going to make the change of subject VP equals which is then 440 over the square root of 3 and we get now in finding the phase current we can use Ohm's law we can then modify this equation if we make IP the subject so we have 254.03 divided by 100 and then we get 3c says you're supposed to find the line current now in a star connection the line current and the phase current are always the same so we have our il which is our line current equal to the value of the phase current which is 2.54 ampere so question 4 reads the input voltage current and power to a motor is measured as 400 volts 12 ampere and 4 kilowatts respectively we have to determine the power factor of the system so let's identify our clues we've been given the input voltage as 400 volts our input current as 12 ampere and the input power as 4 kilowatts and we have to determine the power factor of the system but if you look at 
the unit assigned to the input power, which is kilowatts. We can infer from that that the input power was given to us in terms of active or real or true power. And from classroom, we've learned of a formula that relates the real power to the input voltage or to the line voltage and the line current and the power factor. And that equation was P is root 3 or P is equal to root 3 times VL times IL times cos phi. From the question, we know our line voltage because that is the supply as 400 volts. Our line current also given as 12 ampere and the power has been given as 4 kilowatts. And we are supposed to find cos phi, which is the power factor. Quite simply, this is very straightforward. So let's make cos phi the subject. Cos phi is going to give us P on root 3 multiplying VL and then IL. So this gives us 4 times 10 to the power 3 on 400 times root 3 times our IL, which is 12. So if we simplify this on our calculator, we're going to have 0 0.481 as our power factor.